The Israeli military rescued four hostages in a special operation in the Nusrat refugee camp in central Gaza that Gazan authorities said killed 236 people and injured over 400 others. Meanwhile, Israeli War Cabinet Minister Benny Gantz has said his party was quitting the government after threatening last month to leave over the lack of post-war strategy for the Gaza Strip. He also accused the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu of mismanaging the war effort and putting his own political survival over the country's security needs. But what does this mean for the Israeli Prime Minister? Well, the move does not immediately pose a threat to Netanyahu, many experts say, because Netanyahu still controls a majority coalition in parliament. But the Israeli leader becomes more heavily reliant on far-right allies, allies, I beg your pardon, who oppose the latest US-backed ceasefire proposal and actually want to press ahead with the war. For a quick update, we have with us Arab Affairs correspondent from Israel TV, Erin Singer, joining us from Tel Aviv. Thanks so much, Erin, for making time for us on the World 24-7. Straight up, does Benny Gantz's departure pose an immediate threat to the government? Yes, it seems that there is a major threat to this government, especially after Minister Gantz and his party have announced that they are leaving the uh, emergency government uh, tonight uh, in Israel. It means that from now on, Netanyahu has only 64 seats in the 120 seats in the Knesset. But it's not only a matter of number of seats in the Israeli um, parliament. It's much more than that. Mr. Gantz was the umbrella of this specific government, of this um, right-winged uh, government um, headed by uh, Netanyahu Bengvir and Smotrich. And once uh, Mr. Gantz and his allies are leaving the government, it means that it is going to be much harder for Netanyahu and his allies in the government to confront the international um, court in The Hague and everything that has to do with the international sanctions that the international community is now putting on Israel in order to, uh, to put an end to the war in Gaza. There are fresh calls for a ceasefire deal to save the remaining hostages and end the war. But Mr. Netanyahu has increasingly distanced himself from a plan that's also been announced by the U.S. president. Aaron, do you see this war ending soon? Mr. Gantz in his speech said, um, and many Israelis were surprised to hear that, that this war um, is going to last years, not weeks or months, but years. And the Israeli public is getting used to the fact that this is going to be a very long war. The thing is that um, if there's something that the Israeli, um, that the majority of the Israeli public is, is willing to see right now is some kind of a deal that will put an end to the crisis um, with the Israeli hostages. Um, Israelis have witnessed yesterday the release of the, of the four Israeli hostages and, and it made the Israelis feel much prouder uh, than they had felt in the last few uh, months since the war started. Um, Netanyahu uh, is not willing to put an end to this crisis. He's not showing any sign that he's going to, to make a deal with Hamas. And it seems for many Israelis that Netanyahu wishes that uh, this war will keep on going uh, without even talking about the hostages that are still being kept by Hamas. Well, Erin, thanks so much for joining us with the latest from Ground Zero.